one coffee tree, green coffee fruits, red coffee fruits. Some coffee fruits are in between green and red, and most of them are still babies. So uh, we only come to pick the red ones. We leave the green ones on the trees, the green coffee fruits, and we keep coming back every two weeks. So the first step in the coffee process is hand-selected picking. Hand-selected picking. The second step in the coffee process is pre-sorting by density by using water. We put the red coffee fruits in water. If they float, they're not good. The sinkers are the good ones. When they float, it's because insects ate the coffee beans inside, or fungus. Insects or fungus. We separate the floaters from the water, but we don't throw them away. We process the floater coffee, and we sell it to companies that are making instant coffee, mm-hmm. or companies are making coffee already ground. The cheapest ground coffee. Holders. Yeah. Now we call them floaters instead of holders. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know Nescafe? Yeah. In Spanish we call it no es café. No es café. That's <laughs> funny. So we do picking and then floating. After flo- uh, floating we do squeezing. We have to squeeze it to take the red skin off, you see? Inside the coffee fruit there are two coffee beans. Two coffee beans in one coffee fruit. Oh wow, I didn't so know that. They, uh, you know, they pick it, then they do floating, and then they squeeze it. There are two coffee beans in one coffee fruit. Now they look like coffee beans. Can you squeeze mm-hmm. them again also? No, there is a machine. Yeah. yeah, there is a machine for squeezing the beans. So, uh, yeah, there are two coffee beans in one coffee fruit. Two How do they taste? Beans. It tastes a little bit sweet. Yeah, it tastes so. sweet. Oh. Yeah. So, two coffee beans per fruit. This one is like a flow Goodbye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, two coffee beans per fruit. We don't throw away the red shell. We dry the red shell. We dry it. We bag it, and we ship it to USA. USA is buying this. They use it for making tea, like a kind of iced tea. Uh, they say the coffee fruit has the most antioxidants. The most antioxidants. So they are uh, ex- importing the shells in USA just for making tea. Yeah, just because of the antioxidants. I tried it, it's very good. It tastes like plums because yeah. the coffee fruit is sweet. It's mm-hmm. sweet. And how cool is the taste? What do you say? The name of it, this taste? The name, well, one of the brands in USA they call it cascara. But cascara in Spanish is it's shells. Shell. It's yeah. shells. Yeah. But they just call it cascara. Maybe if you Google it, cascara. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they are making lots of things with coffee. Now they say coffee is healthy. They, they, there is something is called uh, the miracle drink or green coffee extract. Yeah, they mm-hmm. say it's good for you and it increases you your taste. metabolism supposedly. Yeah. Dr. Green, Oz. Yeah. yeah. Green coffee extra. That's anti anti stress. Yeah. Well, um, the coffee beans are sweet. The beans are sweet. They lots of people like to squeeze the coffee fruit in the mouth and they suck on the beans because they're sweet. Yeah. In the process we take away the sweet part. So the other step in the process is fermentation. Fermentation breaks down the sugar takes about 24 hours, it helps to remove the sweet part. So we do picking, floating, squeezing, fermenting. After okay. fermenting, it goes to washing. Washing takes about 30 minutes, washing, and then it goes to pre-drying. Pre-drying takes three hours, the coffee beans only get dried on the outside. And then it goes to drying, drying takes 40 hours, so the beans get drier inside. Uh, the coffee beans are losing 88% of the water in the drying steps. If you want to get 100 kilos of roasted coffee beans, you have to pick 600 kilos of red coffee fruits. 600 kilos of red coffee fruits to 100 kilos of roasted coffee. Mm. So these are the seven first steps in the coffee process. Hand picking, floating, squeezing, fermenting, washing, pre-drying, drying. Uh, there are more steps. So these are the seven first steps. Uh, when the coffee beans go through the process of fermenting and washing, that process is called washed. But not all of the coffee goes through fermentation. We also pick the coffee fruits and we put the coffee fruit to dry in the sun. So the beans get dried in the fruit, in the skin. It takes about three weeks to get well dried in the sun. Uh, that process is called uh, natural. 